Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? Hola. ¿Cómo están? I'm doing excellent. You are doing excellent. Excellent. Great. Good evening. Good evening. Vaya. Recuerden siempre las mismas instrucciones. Levantar su mano. ¿Verdad? Si quiere participar. Si está teniendo algún inconveniente con Zoom, con el internet, con su computadora, hágamelo saber, por favor. Por favor, mantengan las cámaras encendidas los que pueden. Los que no, dígame, teacher, yo no voy a poder encenderla por A o B razón. Y yo con gusto pues voy a entender. Traten de estar pendiente de la clase. Si tienen apagado el mute, perdón, el, el micrófono, asegúrense que esté, bueno, si no están participando, asegúrense de ponerlo en mute. Y si les pido que participen, estén pendientes que lo tengan encendido. ¿Ok? Vamos a dar inicio el día de ahora. Sean todos bienvenidos. De esta semana, este es el último día. Qué bueno. Ya casi acercándonos al final del curso. El día de ahora vamos a practicar lo que nos resta del pasado simple. El día de ayer estuvimos haciendo oraciones, formando oraciones, ¿correcto? Utilizando el WH Words. Right? Ok. I would like you to ask questions among yourselves. Ok, Alexandra dice que estará de oyente. Jenny también estará de oyente. Ok, gracias por notificar. Bueno, vamos a ver. Ne eh, Gabriel, select one of your classmates, ask a WH. Question using the simple past. Okay. Um, Griselda. Mm -hmm. uh, did you have a good day? No. Uh, WH questions. Ah, WH. Oh. Yes. You are asking yes, no questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you meet last uh, weekend? What do you meet or who do you meet? What did you meet? ¿Qué conociste? Um, Estás diciendo en español. Esa sería la traducción al español. ¿Qué conociste? Tiene más sentido. Who do you meet? Ok. Who did you meet last week? Last weekend or last, last weekend? Week? Yes. Sorry. Last mm -hmm. weekend. I you. I you. I met. I met you. The classmate. I met some classmates. Okay, great. Now, uh, let's see. Berosli, select one of your classmates. Lillian says, teacher, estaré oyente. Aún he llegado a casa. Okay. Elisa dice, eh, tengo problemas con la cámara, voy a estar de oyente. Okay. Leticia también estará de oyente. Okay. José Alejandro. José Alejandro. Ok. José Alejandro, are you ready? Eh, I don't see him. You can select somebody else. Nelson, está por ahí? Nelson, yes. Nelson is here.
Hi. 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 Good evening, Nelson. Good evening, Where? Nancy. Good evening, everybody. I had yeah. a question for you. Uh, okay. Where, where the you go the last weekend? I did. I did go. No, I went. El que responde cambia el, el verbo al pasado y ya no usa el auxiliar ah, sí. did. Ok, es que no estuve en la clase de ayer. Oh. I went, I went, go to... No, to I went... I went, go mm. to the world. No, ¿por qué pones went and go si ya tenés el, el pasado del go? Ah, sí, perdón. I went to the world. I went to work. I went to work. Thank you. Miriam, select one of your classmates. Okay, permítame. Amalia? Amalia? Hello? Okay. Where... Where did you eat tomorrow? Oh, yes. I eat yesterday. One more time, Miriam. Where did you eat tomorrow? Where did no. you eat tomorrow? No tiene sentido. ¿A dónde comiste mañana? O oh, sería, ¿a dónde comerás mañana? No, porque no estamos usando no. El, el futuro, estamos el usando el pasado. Lo que puede decir es, where did you eat yesterday? Where did you eat last Saturday? Where did you eat today in the morning? Así sí tiene sentido. Ah, ok. Where Ajá. did you eat Saturday? Yes. Where did you eat the last Saturday? I eat. I ate. I ate. I ate. In the morning in the restaurant. I ate in a restaurant in the morning. Today in oh, the okay. morning. Today in the morning. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's see. Griselda, select one of your classmates, please. Okay. Eh, pero sí. Hello, good evening. Eh, pregunta. What did you cook yesterday? Yes, I could yesterday. No. No. What did you yes. cook yesterday? ¿Qué cocinaste ayer? Oh, pensé que me estaba preguntando que si, que si había cocinado ayer. No. <laughs> Don't invent, I... but honestly. I'm sorry. Estaba, yo estaba traduciendo otra cosa. Ajá. Miren, lo primero que tienen que hacer con el inglés es, antes de decir algo, bueno, normalmente, cuando uno está aprendiendo, obviamente traduce del, del, del inglés al español o, o viceversa. Pero la pregunta que usted tiene que hacerse primero es, ¿lo que estoy diciendo tiene sentido sí o no? 
¿Por qué? Porque si usted hace una traducción al español, no, pero esto lo que estoy diciendo no tiene sentido. Es una locura lo que estoy diciendo. Entonces, usted viene y lo cambia, ¿verdad? Y dice, ah, no, voy a tratar de decirlo de la forma correcta. ¿Ok? Y le digo porque a mí me pasó, pues yo, yo fui estudiante. No crean que todo el tiempo di clases desde que nací. Estuve en sus, en sus zapatos, entonces yo sé. Así que tratemos de como autocorregirnos. Uh -huh. Que no que si yo cociné o oh, sí, no, pero What do you cook? ¿Qué cocinó? I ¿Qué cocine? Say... ¿Qué cocine? Uh -huh. I would say uh... I cooked rice and chicken or I cooked beef. Uh, yes, I could. Mm, I cooked. I could. So I cook cooked something. Cut. I yes. cut. Soup. Bean. Bean soup. Sopa de frijoles. Bean soup. Bean soup. Red bean soups. Red bean soup. Red bean soup. Red bean soup. Ajá. Uh -huh. Black bean soup. Sopa de frijoles negros o monos que le decimos en español. Son bien deliciosos. Con hueso. Ya me dio hambre. <ríe> Ok. No estén antojando que no he cenado. <risas> Cállense que me pone, miren, ustedes me ponen un plato de frijoles fresco con una cuajada recién salida, una tortilla tostada y un pedazo de, 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 de posta en los frijoles. Les desprecio cualquier plato, el mejor que puedan ofrecer. Eso aguacate, es tan delicioso. Aguacate. Ay, cállate aguacate, qué rico. <risas> Sí. Y chile, jalapeño picado. Mm, no, qué hambre me dio ya. <laughs> ok, uh, let's continue. I'm going to go ahead and share my computer screen. Once you can see my computer screen, just let me know, please. Ok. Can you see it now or not yet? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Yes. I see the screen. Okay. Yes. okay. Yes. Excellent. Now, what I want you to do, I want you to complete this one. Okay. Remember that you need to change, you need to change the verb into the past. And today we are going to talk about one of the most famous singers in Latin America. And that's going to be Shakira. Look at Shakira here. Okay, se lo voy a leer y después lo van a hacer ustedes. One by one. Is that, is that cool? Is that a deal? Does it sound great for you? Yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So it says here Shakira. Oh, but let me go ahead and share with you. Okay. There you go. Here you have Shakira is perhaps the most recognizable Latin pop rock today. When she was only eight, she dedicated her first song called Tus Gafas Oscuras to her father. Two years later, she won local and national talent contest. By 13, she has signed a record deal with Sony in Colombia, which resulted in her first album, Magia or Magic, a compilation of songs she wrote between eight and 13 years old. She was chosen to represent her country at the Festival OT in Spain, but she was under the minimum age and she could not participate. So instead, Shakira recorded a second album of original material, 
peligro or danger. At that point, Shakira took a break from music, graduated from high school at the age of 15, really, and, and back with a vengeance, the result was phenom phenomenally successful. Pies Descalzo, which sold more than 4 million copies worldwide. In addition, this determined girl wanted to try her luck as an actress in Oasis, a soap opera, but she thought music was his, was her life instead of TV. Then she began to be very popular. The Colombia government designated Shakira as an official goodwill ambassador. Excellent. Is it right? Is it difficult? <laughs> difficult. difficult. So. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm going to select Edwin. Are you here? Okay, Miriam. You can stop. I mean, you can start, and I'm going to, I'm going to let you know where to stop. Really, teacher? Uh huh. Shakira is sharper than most recognized voice in Latin pop rock today, mm -hmm. when she was mm -hmm. only she dedicated. Eight. Her first song called Tus Gafas Oscuras to her father. Two years later, she won mm -hmm. locate a national talent contest mm -hmm. by 13 child the sing a record deal with Sony in Colombia, which Result resulting in her first <clears throat> resulting in her first album Magia Mag Mag Magia Magic mm -hmm. a compilation of songs the road like. between um Eight. thirteen years old thank you Thank you. Si no están usando el micrófono, pónganle mute. Eh, Marcos, continue. Marcos. Hello. This a compilation of songs. Of songs. She mm. was chosen. Oh. She she was chosen to represent her country at the festival Ori in Spain, but she was under the minimum age of sixteen, and she can didn't could could not could not participate. So instilled Shakira recorded a second album of original material, Peligro or Danger. At that point, Shakira took a break from music, graduated from high school at age 15, really, and back with a ben vengeance, vengeance. Thank you. Amalia, continue. The result. Okay, the result was the phenomenally successful Paris theater started with so more than 4 million copies worldwide. In addition, this determined girl went to treat her love is an actress in Oasis or soup opera, but the talk music was what's her life 
Insta of TV. Can she be 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 be, be, be can to be very popular? The Colombian. Uh, go comment government designated 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 uh, Shakira as an officer would work in Baisal. Vaya, ok, escuchen cómo se lee natural sin, uh, sin parar, ¿verdad? It says, Shakira is perhaps the most recognizable voice in Latin pop rock today. When she was only eight, she dedicated her first song called Tus Gafas Oscura to her father. Two years later, she won local and national talent contests. By 13, she had signed a record deal with Sony in Colombia, which resulted in her first album, Magia or Magic, a compilation of songs she wrote between 8 and 13 years old. She was chosen to represent her country at the Festival OT in Spain, but she was under the minimum age of 16 and she could not participate. So instead, Shakira recorded a second album of, of original material, Peligro or Danger. At that point, Shakira took a break from music, graduated from high school at the age 15, really and back with a vengeance. The result was phenomenally successful, Pies Descalzo, which sold more than 4 million copies worldwide. In addition, this determined girl wanted to try her luck as an actress. Um, in Oasis, a soap opera, but she thought music was her, for her life instead of TV. Then she began to be very popular. The Colombian government designated Shakira as an official goodwill ambassador. Easy. Pete, okay. Se lo escuchó fácil. Okay. Que no les costó, teacher. Perdón. Se escuchó que no le costó, le digo. Easy. Okay. Cool. Now, uh, let's see. There you have instructions and scramble the questions by putting the words in correct order. Uh, remember to type the questions mark. Let's see. It's instructions. Okay. Let's see, Carlos, it says, example, have you did summary? Have you did summary good? Oh, do you have a good summer? So you need to put in order. Las oraciones están desordenadas. Ustedes tienen que ponerlas en orden. Let's see, yeah. uh, Carlos, complete the first question. Okay, volunteers. Nelson. Did you watch television last, last night? Did you watch television last night? Okay. Thank you. Next, Jenny. Did you have dinner last night? Okay. Last night, no note. <laughs> okay, Gabriel. Did you go to work yesterday? Did you go to work yesterday? Okay. Uh, let's see, Liliana. Did you, uh, sorry, did they go to the movies on Wednesday? 
Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? On Wednesday. Okay, let's see. Yay, 100, excellent, pretty good. Uh, okay, now let's continue because we need to take advantage. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. And let's listen to one of the videos. We're going to continue with um, the questions later on. In the meantime, I would like you to listen to this video. All right, so once you are able to listen to, just let me know, please. Can you listen to or not yet? Not yet. Okay, there you go. Yes, that's right. In this moment, she. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking. You can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Thank you. Now, let's continue. And it says, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. Let's read this information. It says, reading weekend stories. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in reading for main ideas and details. We'll do this by reading an article titled, Weekend Stories. Weekend Stories. Kelly, I had a great weekend. I went to my best friend Helen's wedding. She got married at home. All her friends and family went. She looked fantastic. She wore a beautiful dress. After the ceremony, her parents served a wonderful meal. I'm really happy for her, and I really like her husband. Robert. I had an awful weekend. My friends and I went to a rock concert. I had a terrible time. It took three hours to drive there. I didn't like the music at all. And after the concert ended, 
Our car broke down. I called my parents, and they came and got us. We finally got home at ten this morning. I am so tired. Aaron. I had an interesting weekend. I went camping for the first time. My friends took me. We left on Saturday and drove to the campsite. First, we put up the tent. Then we built a fire, cooked dinner, and told stories. We got up early on Sunday and went fishing. I caught a fish. I didn't really like camping, but I learned a lot. Okay. Thank you. Now, guys, let me go ahead and stop this. And I'm going to show. Sorry. Let me go ahead and show the PowerPoint one more time. Now, uh, let's see, here you have, here you have the list of questions. I mean, actually the structure for you to ask simple past questions. And I want you to select one of your classmates. Uh, I need a volunteer, please. Who wants to be the first one? Uh huh. What did you play yesterday? What did okay. you? Pardon, but what I, did I you would like you yesterday? to raise your hands. Raise your hand, please, first. Levanta la mano para que haya un orden. Gabriel, thank you. Okay, what did you play yesterday? But who are you asking to? A quien le estás preguntando? You need to select one. Okay. Eh, Jose Heriberto, what did you play yesterday? Yes, I played yesterday. Okay, what do you play? Uh, uh, yes. Yes, play yesterday. Play, yes, play soccer yesterday. Okay, okay. I played soccer I, yesterday. I played soccer yesterday. yesterday. Yes, Arely, select one of your classmates. And what, Amalia? Uh, okay. What did you boy last week? Boy. Last week. What did you boy last week? What did you last boy or what did you buy? What did you buy last week. Okay. Last, I bought a no, no yesterday. No, what did you buy last week? ¿Qué compraste la no, semana no. pasada? Ah, um, okay. Eh, hay de shopping, de supermarket, de kits, kits. Ok, you can say, I bought grocery stores at the supermarket. At the supermarket. I bought superstore, the supermarket. Ok. Um, another volunteer, please. No. 
Okay, another volunteer. Hi, chair. Where or what? Okay, me teacher. Who are you going to select? Mm, uh, Gabriel. Gabriel. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Here, be careful. Tell me. Where she meet last weekend? What? Repeat, please. Where she meet last weekend? Where? Or, where? Where? She, or who? Where she meet last weekend? No está formando la oración correcta. Where ella se did she Where did meet she last meet week or last, last weekend? weekend. Mm -hmm. Vaya, pero estos solo son ejemplos. Lo que quiero es que ustedes sigan el orden y hagan sus propias preguntas. Where did your mom go last week? That's an example. Okay. What Gabriel, where did where? you have for lunch yesterday? Um. Hmm? Okay, uh, where did Sara buy last week? Buy. Where did Sara buy last week? Buy. Eh, nuevamente, esta información solo son ejemplos que yo les puse ayer. Ahora lo que yo quiero es que ustedes produzcan sus propias ideas. Ya olvídense oh. de, de Sara, de James, de Tony y Sam. Produzcan ustedes sus propias ideas. Pregunten oh. sobre su mamá, sobre su hermano, sobre su novio, sobre su amante, sobre su esposo. Pero no pregunten ya de esta, eh, de esta información que tengo acá. Produzcan sus propias ideas. Ok. Ok. Where, Por ejemplo. Where did you... Where Por did ejemplo, your father the la uh, in vacation in vacation last? Where did your did father go father on vacation? Go in vacation the last mm, week a weekend. Okay. Los días que no trabaja. He went to the beach the, the last week. Okay. Thank you. Another volunteer. Uh-huh. Oh. Jose Heriberto, thank you. Okay. Who are uh, you Nelson. going to select? Nelson Vladimir. Uh -huh. Nelson, who did visit? Who did visit yesterday? Who did you visit yesterday? Who did you visit yesterday? I visit. I visited, I visited my I visited my grandmother. Okay. Vaya, si ya subió la mano y ya participó, puede bajarla. Areli, who are Hola. you going to select to? Ah. Eh, eh. What did you make in the vacation? Ayer, ayer. 
Who do you meet on vacation a year ago? Yeah, I ¿A quién who, conociste who en tus vacaciones hace un año? ¿A quién le preguntas? A Alberto. José Heriberto. Hello. Who did you meet in the vacation a year ago? A Who did you meet on vacation ago? a year ago? Uh, I mirrored it. No. What is the past of meet? Meet it. No, meet. no invente. Este es un, un verbo meet. irregular. Ah, ok. No remember, teacher. <laughs> ok, uh, alguien que le ayude, por favor. Met. Met. Thank you. Met. Met. Ah, ok. I met. I met. N I T. Ok. No es met. It. Es met. I met. Met. Mm -hmm. I met. Um... I met um, my friends, um, um, David. I met my friend, David. Okay. Thank you. Now, right now, you are not going to see the structure anymore. And we're going to move to the real story of the simple past. Okay. There, I had the first question, and the question goes to, let's see, I want to listen to Bert Osley. Are you ready? Question yes, one. Yes, I'm ready. Okay. Who cook? No, yo le voy a hacer la pregunta a usted y usted va a responder. Ah, uh, sorry, bitch. Ajá. Uh -huh. Don't invent. Okay. Okay, let me see. Okay, and Berosli, who cooked last night's dinner for you? Question one. Did um, mm, uh, did Good last night dinner for me, my mother. Okay, my mother cooked last night's dinner for me. Esa sería su respuesta. Sí. Amalia, number two, did you like the last movie you saw? I liked the movie No Sick. What? No Soap. No Soap. Okay, the answer will be, yes, yes I did. Yes. Yeah. Or, no. no. No, didn't, didn't. No, I didn't. Pero cuál opción no, va a ser I la didn't. que va a elegir? No. no. No, I didn't. Thank you. Uh, Arely, do you work here today? No, I didn't work today. No, I didn't. Cuando va el did al inicio, su respuesta solo va a ser yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Ah, Pero no, si I tienen didn't. un WH word, como who, what, and Entonces, when. Más, más amplia la respuesta. Correct. Yay. Ah. That's right. Alexandra, are you ready? Nice. Carlos, ready? Astrid, ready? Era 
Number four. What, what did, did you what last did you think someone for? What is the mean think? Okay. ¿Cuál fue la última vez que le agradeciste a alguien? ¿O por okay. qué le agradeciste a alguien? Mm, I did yesterday. No. I think I think, I think he, um, I think some for um the food yesterday for my mom. I think I think I uh -huh. think yesterday yesterday Okay, that would be, I thank my mom yesterday. Okay, I, I think, I, I think, thank my mom, my mom yesterday. Yesterday, okay. Okay, let's see, Claudia, when was the last time you shopped? Where do you shop? Elisa, number five. When was the last time you shopped? Where do you shop? Um, um, I shop at supermarket. I shopped at the supermarket. Mm -hmm. Erica, ready? Gabriel, ready? Yes. Number six. Number six. Who asked you the last question? Who asked you the last question? Yeah. Who asked you the last question? The teacher Douglas. <laughs> teacher Douglas asked, asked me. Asked okay. me the last question. Great. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Griselda, ready? Yes, ready. Did you exercise yesterday? For how long did you exercise? Yes, I did. Uh huh. For how long do you exercise? I exercise. Exercised. Uh huh. How long? How many minutes? Then forty minutes. Forty minutes. Yes. Okay, Jenny, ready? Jenny. Yes, teacher. Lisette, verdad? <laughs> yes, Jenny Lisette. Okay, yes. What interesting topic do you talk about recently? I. I talk about them. I talked. I talked about my English class. Okay. Griselda, ready? Yes. Okay. Number 10. Which games or sports do you play this month? Which I... games or sports do you play this month? I video games. I played. 
I play video games. Thank you. Jose Alejandro Flores. Ready? Jose Heriberto Durán. Ready? Yes, teacher. Okay, number 11. When you travel to another city or country, where do you stay? I I went uh, traveled. I uh, traveled. I traveled the I traveled Guatemala to another City. Another country. Okay, I traveled to Guatemala City. And where do you stay in Guatemala? Um Esquipulas. Te, le gustó Esquipulas. I, I stay in Guatemala. Yes, I like. A mí no me gustó, fíjense, me llevaron de gratis. Ni porque me llevaron okay. de gratis. No, no me gustó. Me sentí como que andaba allá en su chitoto. Ok. Uh -huh. lo, que me, lo que me llamó la atención es el montón de donaciones de oro que tiene la iglesia. Uchica. Qué barbaridad. Pero es que en todas las paredes, ¿verdad? Mm. Tienen, tienen cadenas, tienen este... Uh, medallas, montón, pero es que inmensidad de oro que pude ver. Les estoy contando en el 2008. Imagínense ahorita. Eso fue lo único que me llamó la, la, la atención. El ¿Ah? lógico de los animales y me hubiese gustado, donde está la cueva donde la gente va a colgar los pecados y salen filosos. ¿A dónde es eso? No fue a, la, ahí. a la aurora o zoológico. La aurora. A la aurora. No, en Esquipulas hay un lugar, un museo, Ajá. ahí cerca de Esquipulas, donde uno sí. se va en unas, en unas motos pequeñas y lo llevan como a un zoológico, y ahí hay una cueva Ajá. donde se mete la gente, hasta... pero la gente sale chistosa porque todo estiloso sale. ¿Qué? Ese es un museo ahí en Esquipulas, pero es como en la montaña. ¿Y la aurora dónde queda? Eso es en, en la capital. Ya en es la ciudad capital. de Guatemala. Sí, ah. es en la capital. Tengo que agarrar. Bonito... Está enfrente del aeropuerto. Ah. Antigua. Antigua. Oh, está en... que ir donde... no, la Aurora. No, el, ese es el, el aeropuerto. El está... Pero el zoológico. Enfrente, enfrente. Ah, ok. Ah. Sí, pero, pero ese mini zoológico que hay es en Esquipulas, es un mini zoológico. Otro lugar de Esquipulas, qué bonito es como donde está la leyenda de las dos piedras, no sé si, si han leído o han visto acerca de, de eso de las dos piedras que están, que siempre se las mantienen como con fuego porque representa como algo indígena no ah. es tanto religioso pero es de la cultura indígena de ellos interesting quisiera ir nuevamente pero no a Esquipula en, en, en Antigua también hay un lugar, un convento donde está una, una monja momificada dicen, allá hasta el fondo y está el, el, la imagen allá pero solo la ve uno de lejos ah, oh, ok reco recomiendo Chocomiri para pasear ok, thank you thank you, thank you All right, let's continue with the question question for Liliana are you ready? Liliana. Okay, we lost her. Leticia, ready? Me escuchan? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you. Uh, Marcos, ready? Ready. What did you cry about recently? I cried for the um, in muerte, ¿cómo se dice? Dicho? The death okay. of of death who? Of, of my grandmother. Oh, yeah. really? I'm so sorry to hear it. Thank you. Mm, how old was she? In 102. Years. Really? Oh my yes. God. 
Yeah, but even though they are el uh, they are older, we don't want to lose them, correct? We always yes. want to keep them. But that's how life works. And we're going to be the next ones. In the meantime, we just need to enjoy health, life, money, and material things. Yes. Okay. Miriam, ready? Ready, teacher. Okay. The question for you would be. Okay. Do you check your door was locked last night? What else do you check before going to sleep? Uh, I didn't. Ah, okay. So you didn't check anything, did you? Okay, Tiffany, ready? Uh, Jenny Marisol, ready? Yesenia Guadalupe. Yesenia Guadalupe. Um, Nelson, ready? Me. Okay, the question for you says, what was the last present you received? I received, I did receive, I did receive. I received. Uh, I received a share. Okay. A professional share? Uh, jersey. Okay, Claudia, ready? Amalia, ready? Can you remember the last song you listened to? Okay. Can you remember the last song you listened to? I know. I can't. Oh, you can't. Okay. And what's your favorite song, by the way? Uh, I song Christian. Sorry? I song Poquita, uh, Little. I'm sorry. Oh, why? I love no. <laughs> and I love music. I know I know it's much of it. A mí a mí me gusta todo tipo de música. Música reggae, rock romántico. Es que... Mi vecinos todos escuchan a sonido extremo, entonces como que ya... Ah, pues ya, ya la aburrió. Sí, tiene es... razón. Uh -huh. Tiene razón. Porque yo soy amante, amante de, la, de la música de banda, pero fíjense que tengo unos vecinos por acá, no voy a decir nombre, pero ya me aburrieron, o sea, ya, ya no le dio ni, ni gusto escuchar la música, pero yo soy amante de la música de banda. Tengo Igual como aquí, ciento y la Juana de canciones. Como que de, de ese play de competition, que es mucho comp competencia. Mm. <ríe> uno de uno, otra de otro, otro de otro. Tengo tres. Sí, la entiendo. Ok. Arely, next question. 
Oh, Nelson. <laughs> Bill, any, any John Thomas, you did your book. The any Did anyone one. famous die this year? Mm, eh. The famous teacher Vicente Fernandez se murió este año. <laughs> Cuando se murió Vicente ni sé. <laughs> okay. This did a famous person die this year? La reina Isabel ah, murió. Ajá. Uh -huh. And she was famous. Vaya. Pregunta, le voy a dar un minuto para que pregunten. Duda, pregunta, ¿qué les ha parecido? Toda esta semana hemos estado con este, este tema. Prácticamente toda la, la unidad de esta semana ha sido pasado simple. Hemos visto verbos regulares, irregulares, just no questions. Hemos visto WH questions. ¿Qué les ha parecido? La pronunciación. Great teacher. Ah. Great. Está costoso Great. porque está costoso. Difícil. ¿Creen que está costoso? Un poquito. Es de practicar este siempre, practicar y practicar. Para leerlo no cuesta tanto, pero ya pro, porque leerlo, bueno, en mi de caso, acuerdo, a la hora de leerlo, Uh -huh. O sea, se me hace más fácil, o sea, como identificar las palabras. Lo sí, difícil sí. es a la hora de pronunciarlo, se me van como las palabras que voy. en mi mente las digo bien, pero ya la, la hora de salir de mi boca es una confusión. <ríe> me pasa completa. igual que Nelson. <ríe> Vaya, no Nelson, se preocupen. No se preocupen iguales. porque es algo sumamente entendible, uh, normal, puedo decir. Eh, como les dije, yo pasé por la misma situación que ustedes, entonces sí los entiendo. Pero, a Gabriel dijo algo bien importante y practicando es como vamos a mejorar. ¿Ok? Yes. Y la bueno. clave es aprendernos el pasado de los verbos también, ¿verdad, teacher? Uh -huh. Correcto. Tienen que aprenderse los verbos regulares e irregulares. Ahí les mandé las imágenes. Ya de aquí depende de ustedes que se los quieran aprender o no. Ok. Vaya, este es el último día de esta semana. Ya solo nos queda la otra y terminamos el curso con ustedes. Así que eh, no habiendo más, más que agregar, lo voy a dejar hasta acá. Los que no trabajan mañana, los que no trabajamos, qué chivo. Los que no trabajamos <risa> mañana, eh, que descansemos, ¿verdad? O que descansen. Los que no han cenado, buen provecho. And see you on Monday. Ok. Okay. Bye. 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 Ya ven, los que no Bye. nos bañamos. <risa> Yo voy a trabajar hasta día sábado. Qué tristeza. No, hombre, sábado es amanecer dormido. Ay, sí, créeme que sí. <risa> ok, bye, guys. Bueno, bye. bye. See you next week. Bye. See you bye. next Monday. All right, thank you.